Oh, I should have let the... Should have let the, uh... Should have let the talent company over to me instead of recharging them head on like that. It cost me a lot. That wasn't one of my smartest moves. I thought I could bum rush them, but on the plus side, we now have a whole lot of these combat armors, which ow, ow, I'm overcumbered. Tinker with to fix up my current one, which is a bit busted up. Ooh, 21. Well, my recon armor's down to nine. I could practically throw it away at this point because I don't. I think we'll be seeing other recon armor in a while, but... Now our combat armor is doing really well. There were more of you buddies here than just... Hmm... Uh. I'm gonna keep the recon armor just in case. Because I might get it fixed up at some point. The issue is, do I want to carry all these Talon combat armors? Wait, did I accidentally grab a missile launcher? Yes, I did. I don't, don't want the missile launcher, thanks. Mm, there, now I got two working suits of Talon combat armor. Once one of them wears down, I can patch it up with the other one. Oh boy. Where am I getting to again? The Arlington Library should be somewhere nearby. There, now I've quick saved and now Sydney's untimely demise cannot be outdone by me being a pansy and being like, no, let me reload a save. No, I will li live with my failure. I will finish this quest so that Sydney's legacy can carry on. Here it is, the Arlington Library. How exciting. Hold it. This area is under the authority of the Brotherhood of Steel. Leave immediately. Whoops. Jeez, sorry lady, I'm just uh, exploring. I didn't realize you guys owned this place. You're awfully brave to be walking around down here by yourself. Are you scavenging the ruins? Well, yeah, I mean, that's what everyone does. So it goes with all of us. Perhaps we can be of use to one another. I am Senior Scribe Yearling. Order of the word. I have a proposal for you, if you're interested. Really now? Sure, tell me. I don't want to fight you steel boys and girls. Good. My task here is to collect the written works of those who came before, in order to supplement the Brotherhood archives at the Citadel. Although most of the pre-war books have been destroyed, there are a few that have survived. But finding a book in these ruins is difficult. I could have a million initiates to comb the ruins, and I'd still never come close to recovering every book that remains undamaged. So, you want me to find these books, huh? Precisely. The collected knowledge of a lost age is worth far more than any weapon. So, return here with any books that you find in good condition. I will compensate you for every volume that you bring me. Think on it, and return when you have books to offer me. Interesting. I forgot all about this quest. Um, do I actually have pre-war books on me? You have no such thing. Oh, I'm sorry, lady. Yeah, anyway, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look for those books, like you said, but I'm looking for some ink right now. Hmm. Surprised anyone would care about that old stuff. I think there may be some in the old restoration laboratory a few flights up. Just watch yourself up there. I think it may be infested with rats and roaches. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's also the same voice actor who just voiced Sydney and Moira. <laughs> Still be with you. Nice meeting you. Hmm. I forgot all about this uh, little collectathon quest in this game, but that's true. Like, if you find intact books, because there's always like you find some books in places, but they are they're often ruined. They'll say ruined pre-war book. If you find intact books, you can bring them here, and I believe you will get more recompense than if you just sold it to a store regularly. Where am I heading next? Over there somewhere. How do I get over there? Now if she said I should worry about rats and roaches. Not terribly worried about those to be honest. I think I can handle a couple of rats. See it says small destroy or small burn. So if we find anything that's intact we should collect those and bring them down here to Arlington. 
to describe there. For example, here we have a Nuka Cola. Good enough. And some bottle caps. Mmm, bottle caps. No. Let's see, we're looking for a bottle of ink. And I guess I'll keep my eyes open for some books. Just in case there's any the Brotherhood's missed while adventuring here. Ooh, That was close. Ugh. Ooh, this was some sort of reading room. Exciting. Really, the pre-war money... Excuse me, the pre-war money being like worth actual money is very mysterious to me. Now that I think about it, it might be a reference to Fallout 2. Because in Fallout 2, for reasons I don't know... Hey, here's a pre-war book that's not destroyed. Thank you. What the? These raiders are just hanging out here? Oh, well, not on my watch. You just... Okay. Looks like the uh, Brotherhood just found out about these squatters, too. <laughs> Oh, at this distance, it's gonna be a hard shot. Let's see. Gotcha! Nice. More raiders. Damn. Ooh. Uh, I, I think... I think the guys in giant power armor and miniguns can handle a couple of raiders for a minute while I check these boxes. Yeah? Yeah. Well, finally, I have weaponry uh, rounds for my, uh, whatchamacallit, assault rifle. But the thing is, I now have the Ultra SMG, which does the job considerably better. Mm, the media archive, that's where the game wants me to go next. No. Perfect, I needed those two for my... For my SMG. Hmm. Did I miss any bodies around here? Oh, hello there. Oh, okay. Nice, nice to. We've got this area locked down. Uh, I can see, sir. Looks good. You guys have a good time here, then. Okay. That's where I dropped the one guy. Now I remember. Looks like he's into uh, he's into some heavy reading here. <laughs> That's just a box. Hmm. Ooh. Time to tinker with my assault rifle. Oh, yes, indeed. Ew, ew. That's enough out of you. I can hear. Ugh. Hmm. Those raiders were into some kinky shit down here, by the looks of it. Let's take those. Yeah. So in 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 uh, Fallout Two, for whatever reason, you actually have like coins for money, like straight up money, which is one of the more baffling decisions. So maybe the fact that where did you guys show up from? Was that just a rad roach or... Yeah, I'm okay. There we go. So I guess, you know, the pre-war money being worth 10 bottle caps when you go to a store might be a reference to... Maybe. Possibly. Might be a reference to... Uh, Fallout 2, where you actually use that for money. Is this the right way? I'm I'm so horribly lost. This is the media archive, but it seems like I was on the wrong part. Oh well. Oh, maybe the media archive was upstairs, so... Huh. Interesting. Wonder if you can... Wonder if I could just kill these guys. Yeah, I guess it was only 47% of it, so, uh... Oh, but it was worth it! Uh, see? Gee, I kind of thought you guys would have... Whoa! He came in hard. Okay, that's... 
That's my SMG quite dry, so time to whip out the assault rifle for a change. Unless these guys have lots of 10mm ammo, but I doubt they have a huge ton, if at all. They don't really seem to have at all. A combat shotgun, yes. I can get this, this baby working again. Oh, 33 damage, very nice. Uh, where am I? Now for reals, yo. Where is that inkwell? I need to drink some Nuka Cola, cause just cause my weight is almost over its limit. It's cause I'm carrying a combat armor on me, and also a bunch of stuff I really should be selling off the store. Yeah. This is just just a last stand room, I guess, where the raiders would hide in desperation or something. I looted him already. Means it's just a bathroom. Should somehow get there. There was a crazy baseball pitching machine, which ran out of baseballs. Hm. Oh. I'm about to collapse my weight. Can I? I've been shot at a lot. Can I fix up my combat armor already? Yes, I can. Oh, look at that weight just drop. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. Oh, it would seem there's some mines here. Be mindful where you go. Mm. Seriously, did the Brotherhood just arrive here like five minutes before I did? Because this place is still like Raider Party Town. While I'm here. Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. Ah, uh, oh, perfect. Oh, did I read the line? Yes, I did the line congressional style. I read that already. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ooh, Electronic 2000. More Salisbury steaks. Perfect. What's my weight status now? It's not great, but I, I think I can manage. I should have taken that perk that uh, lets me carry more stuff. Now I need to avoid those mines. There's a meteor. Turret control system. Ah, oh, that's right. I'm terrible at... Whoa, 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 whoa. Not you. Where'd you come from? The... Oh, there's turrets up there. Right. Where exactly did the power of Brotherhood of Steel guy show up? Not to mention this wacky raider room of fun and games. Ooh, another pre-war book. Perfect. If I'm looking at this map correctly, I've been having a typical trouble tracking myself. Restoration supplies. Uh, an ink container. Perfect. Wait a second, is, is that all I needed? Can I... I guess I can bring the thingy to button Gwyneth now. Okie dokie then. Ooh, nice. Ah, this is a restoration room, of course. Of course they had ink in here, that makes sense. Uh, the next question is, what's the most expedient way for me to leave this place? And also, can I fix up my assault rifle? Oh no. Both of my assault rifles are too well fixed. So I'm just going to drop that. It's too heavy to lug around, wait for this to wear down, I think. Oh gosh, what a maze this place is. I feel like there has to be two entrances to this place, but I could be mistaken. I'm just trying to get to that arrow there. 
Okay, now we made a huge loop, so let's just take the way I came already, because I know I can get out that way. Although that way is also a very long ways. Man, guy's head flew all the way over there. <laughs> he seemed to be a bit lightheaded because his head flew so easily. Oh. Why don't you look where you're going? Well, why don't you cut the attitude there, Leonidas? Ooh. And it, 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 uh... no, those are empty soda bottles. Damn. Well, but here we have a plenty of Nuka Cola. I wonder if those Knights of the Brotherhood of Steel are going to be grumpy that I'm stealing all the Nuka Cola for myself. Yeah, well. Yo, scribe, Remember lady. Remember my offer, outsider. Cash for pre-war books. As it happens, I got a couple here. Have you been successful in your search for books? Yep, got a couple for Excellent. you. Excellent. How many are you willing to trade? Well, all of them, I guess. Very well. Here is your reward. Use it well and return with more books when you can. That was 200 caps. That's nice. This is a good business. Of course. Awesome. I I forgot to check how much of those things earn me regularly, but I sincerely doubt it's 100 a pop. Well, then now we can get back to button there at the National Archives and Finish our sneaky trick. And afterwards, we can... Um, what are we going to do then? Oh yeah, I was going to go to the um, the Underworld. That's right, I'll visit that then once we're done with our big trade with uh, Button Gwyneth here. And I hate being duplicitous with Abraham Washington, but I just don't want to kill a founding father. And I doubt I could convince him that I'm Thomas Jefferson. He seems very convinced I'm a red coat, which is too bad. I do not have a drop of communist blood in me, such as those terrible communist British. Kings are very communist things, right? Right? I learned lots of good politics in Vault 101. I'm thinking what's this way. I wonder how long these bodies remain in this game, how, how much game time it takes before they despawn. You can't just leave them lying around all the time, can they? Well, I don't know. If I was in the room... Oh yes, that's exactly where we need to come, Mr. Gwyneth. The saints alive! You've done it! Quickly, let me have the ink and I will produce the copy of the Declaration of Independence. Here you are, a perfect copy. That should give old George something to think about. Damn, that was what fast. What are the next orders from the Congress? Uh... Yes, um, I can't really speak on part of the Congress, but I'm just going to say that keep it safe. Don't let anyone take it, I guess. It will be done. The only way to get the declaration now would be to pry it from my cold, dead fingers. It's been an honor meeting you. <gasps> I can see you are indeed a patriot among men. You did an adorable little robot Welcome. salute. You'll have no further trouble from my men. Godspeed. Uh, kind of killed all your men, to be honest, M Mr. Gwyneth, sir. I'm terribly sorry about that. So I guess we can go to Abraham Washington now. I'm gonna visit the underworld before I do all that. So so we're gonna do that now. Gonna see the underworld. Also, breaking character for a second. If you are curious, in one of the locked rooms you find a storage room for robots meant to act as the founding fathers. You know, to entertain guests and I guess children in particular. They were supposed to. Oh, okay. They were supposed to be programmed to pre pretend to be the Founding Fathers, and pre presumably something went wrong and the programming on the Button Quinet robot uh, remained active, and it uh, convinced itself that it was actually Button Quinet in a time of war, which is why he's leading his robot war here in the National Archives. Like I said, this is it's a really fun idea for a quest, so that's why I think this might may, maybe my favorite quest in the game is this one. 
just it's just a cool idea. And also you meet Sydney, who I regrettably got murdered. Who's also a very interesting character. It's a I remember those were there. I was just doing my mind sweeper business. Mm hmm it's Shame she isn't more in the game, like maybe as a permanent uh, member of your party, but Oh well. Oh, wow, we got a lot of ammo for this. Oh, hello, a new mutant. What's going on here? <laughs> Just uh, get you in the kneecaps. It's weird how easy it is to hit people in the legs in this game. At certain distances. It, it's kind of mysterious. Oh, I just remembered we're walking the Super Mutant Central, so let's, uh, we got tons of Stealth Boys. In fact, I think Stealth Boy is way down as well, so maybe I should, I don't, I don't recall myself sneaking very much once I'm done here at the mall, so I might consider getting rid of all these other Stealth Boys, pawning them off at a shop once I'm done with my business here in, uh, Central Mall DC thingy. There that guy is. Nothing to see here. Nope. Nothing mysterious going on. I swear that guy's tracking me. No, no, he's not. Just, uh, just my imagination. So yeah, that's. I'm gonna. <laughs> Unless I find a quest I never did before in this game, or I'm reminded of another quest, I'm gonna give my vote. The, the Stealing Independence quest is my favorite. For its mix of post-apocalyptic weirdness and interesting characters with Sydney and stuff. I mean, I'll, I'll, I guess I can, while we're heading for the Underworld, I can talk about my favorite. Because my favorite is Fallout 2 out of the series. I know for a lot of people, Fallout Purist, it's the first one. And... To be honest, I understand the argument. The first one is a lot more somber and not as full of crazy concepts. While the second one has lots of really... It's, the world's huge, it's got lots of crazy concepts, in particular talking. Animals are everywhere, you know, genetically altered animals. And also really weird ideas and... and, and it, it's a bit more out there, while while the, the world is a bit more in control um, in Fallout 1. It's It's... Not so wacky the ideas. It's 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 very more standard post-apocalyptic. While I happen to like, it's just my preference. I happen to like the post-apocalyptic when it gets crazy. In fact, that's probably why I really enjoy Fallout Three, even though it has its fair share of detractors. And I can certainly point to a lot of things I don't like about this game too. But the overall zaniness involving the quests in this game is perfectly fine with me, and I really enjoy it. And was this the way to the underworld? No, 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 no. I'm lost. The underworld is up here, and now I need to pop another stealth boy just in case. I don't... I really don't want to fight a super mutant army. I think that... It, yeah, it's the... Up here's the door to the... Yeah, I was getting confused. This fancy metro uh, entrance right beneath the museum. Very nifty. Yeah, but ba da ba Now I recall. It's... Here we... here's the, uh... Here's where we want to go. The Museum of History. Now... This is... I'm hoping this is the right place. Oh! No, apparently I'm at Castle Greyskull. Well, maybe I can get the Master Sword and... Start partying with that. No, but seriously, is this thing in the real Museum of History in Washington, D.C.? Is half the stuff in this room in the real Washington, D.C.? Because if it is, then you're sold. I'm gonna freaking next chance I get travel overseas for vacation. Freaking D.C. Gonna wanna see this place. D.C. is gonna be where I hang out. I wanna see all this cool stuff. Oh, well, would you look at that? We got us a smooth skin visitor. Ooh, we we ain't seen one of your type in a long time. Well, nice to meet you too. What were you implying with smooth skin there, sir? Smooth skin? You know, 
because your skin is so smooth and tasty. Relax, I'm just kidding. But I had you going, didn't I? Yeah, that was a good, good glib there. Where am I? You're in Underworld, smooth skin. It's the only safe place for we ghouls in D.C. We're here out of sight and out of mind. The mutants leave us alone, and the slavers usually don't come this far into the city. So it's not bad. Really, the Brotherhood of Steel is the only thing we have to worry about. So long as we don't leave Underworld, that is. Interesting that they kind of... They really kind of turned the Brotherhood of Steel into good guys in this game. Interesting that they... I forgot that they do have like this kind of whole mutant racism thing going on with the Brotherhood. To maybe balance them out a little bit. So, what's your beef with these Brotherhood guys? Bastards. They don't seem to be able to tell us apart from the super mutants. Or maybe they just don't care. They see us and shoot on sight. At least they have the common courtesy to miss most of the time. Still, bigots. Hmm. City full of ghouls, huh? That's right. As long as you don't bother us, we won't bother you. Feel free to come and go, trade, sleep, whatever. Just make sure that you leave whatever trouble is following you at the door. Because we don't want it. So enjoy your stay, smooth skin. Okay, well, I'm going to have a look around. Enjoy your stay. Just try and keep from shooting up the place. No, no problem. Nice little deal going on down here. We'd like to keep it nice. Yeah. Oh, I can. I can ask you about the android. Interesting. Do you know about this whole android I'm looking for? Nah, not gonna tell the likes of you. Geez, I could bribe you, but I actually need to save my money for a bit. So, um, can you repair my things, maybe? Can you pay me? Then I can repair your stuff. How much cash do I have me? I'm at almost 400. Um, it would cost a lot to repair my recon armor. I need to save my money for just a bit. So I'm. Well, that only costs two caps. I can. I can do. I can deal two caps. Thank you. Well, actually, what do you do around here, Winthrop? Me? I keep every hunk of old rusted pre-war garbage around here in operating condition. We've got lights. Water and ventilation all running off the old crap they used to keep this place going for the tourists. I've managed to keep it going so far, but, well, I'm not sure how long I can keep it up. So did you notice that everyone's super frozen behind you? Isn't that weird? Oh, anyway, what's wrong, dude? We've scavenged just about all the scrap metal from all the places we can safely get to. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Hell, not before long I'm gonna have to disassemble poor old Cerberus for parts. Hey, you get around, don't you? Tell you what, you bring me back any scrap metal you find out there, and I'll trade you whatever I can. We can work out a trade. We've got some stuff around here that we don't need, but a smooth skin like you might make use of it. Well, sure, I can help you out. Well, all right. That's good to hear, stranger. Just come on back to me when you've gathered some scrap metal. You'll find it just about anywhere. On junked robots, in old buildings, you name it. Dang it. Do I have any scrap metal on me? Oh, good. The vents are rattling again. I need to get up there and take care of it. What do you have? Uh, okay, I don't have any okay, on Okay, then. Your call. Let me know when you do. Yeah, okay. Um, damn it, I just went through like a hundred robots and they all dropped scrap metal. I forgot about this whole scrap metal collecting business too. Damn it. Well, all right. I guess I'll go look Let around. Let me know if you have any of that scrap metal to sell. Yeah, no problem. Um, so, yeah. Underworld. Exciting. Oh, I see, because this was an exhibit that was going on at the Museum of History when the bombs fell. That's why it's... This whole the underworld and why there's Castle Grayskull decor probably Im implies there isn't any real Castle Grayskull if I go to the Museum of History. Just disappointing. Oh my God, Mr. Gutsy, help! Oh, okay. He's not. He's one of the friendly ones. Oh, this is Cerberus. Hello there, Cerberus. Scanning. You do that, Cerberus. Well, in any case. We are going to explore a bit of the underworld, then we are going to travel over to Abraham Washington, drop off the uh, Declaration of Independence, or its forgery, so to speak, and then maybe we'll finally carry on with the main quest. Maybe. Might be that I pick up some other side quests here that might require my attention. I don't know. We'll see then. Catch you all then. Bye, everybody!